Hey, what's going on everybody? Alex V here. I'm going to be upgrading my PC here today. Um, I use this primarily for Swift and right now it doesn't have a graphics card. So right now you're just seeing what my computer looks like and I'm pretty much upgrading my graphics because I'm trying to run <laughs> Swift at 4K60 for no damn reason other than I just want the best experience possible. So this is just like an old gaming PC that I have that I don't really use anymore. And I'm using integrated graphics right now and it's running at 1080p basic, which is fine. It gets the job done, but it doesn't look the best. And if you're wondering about the specs, here it is. And I want to preface this to say that you don't really need a good PC to run Swift. It can run on anything basically. So you don't need to go out down this route if you don't need to. So this is what it looks like on my setup currently. Um, I have a 55 inch Samsung 4K TV. And as you can see here, it's not the best looking frame rate wise I was getting like 20 or 30 you know as you can see here kind of like the textures on the road is not all that smooth colors are kind of washed out watercolorish and I mean like I said it's playable but it's not the most smooth so right here you're seeing like 36 to 40 FPS and bringing it to Zwiffelizer I was getting probably like 23 frames a second average and that's a big deal because you know if you're doing anything like group rides or anything like that it, the frames just drop so much to the point where it's just a stuttery mess um, again it, graphics is not everything in Zwift just because you have better graphics doesn't mean you perform better or you know you get an advantage over somebody else so I mean in this case it's just for me to get, have a better experience so I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade my graphics card to this guy this is the Asus wait for it tough gaming 1660 Ti, 6 gigs of VRAM. So this graphics card has two fans up, up front. And on the top here, it requires an 8-pin power cable going into it. So make sure you, you have at least a 450 watt power supply to run this. And on the back, you can output either DisplayPort, HDMI, or DVI. And on the back of the card, it just has a backing plate to cool it off. And in order to install it, you gotta find the PCI Express slot under the CPU cooler there, as I have it in the picture. Go ahead and line up the graphics card to the slot and then press it in like I did in this video. Um, after that's seated in place, go ahead and push, put in the power plug. And as you can see here, it has an LED indicator showing that it's working. And now, this is what it looks like in 4K60, same TV different graphics card but you can see right away is a huge difference you see so much texture look at that mountain in the background and those trees everything just seems more lively just more texture it's running a lot smoother than when I had when I was running integrated graphics and it's just an overall better experience so let's bring it over to the FPS counter here and let's see here wait for it wait for it 60 FPS baby let's go so this is what it looks like when I'm just doing a solo ride. I was getting an average FPS of 60, 61 max at 4K Ultra Profile. And like I said, this is just a solo ride. It, it did what I needed to do. And for the most part, you know, I just do solo rides. So I achieve what I wanted out of this graphics card. And I couldn't be any more happier than that. So the last thing I want to show you is the dreaded McCurry solo ride or group ride if you will if you don't know the mercury map in swift is the most unoptimized freaking map in the game that it requires a lot of graphics power to even run smoothly and i can as you can see i was getting only f 52 fps max at 4k 60 so yeah honestly though it's i think it's more of swift not being coded right and just a buggy mess because there should be no reason a game like this should require six gigs of VRAM. Like the graphics are not that detailed, <laughs> but it is what it is. Um, so yeah, unfortunately I didn't have a chance to do a, a group ride in on the McCurry, but I imagine I'd probably get like 30 FPS if I would have just used this graphics card. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I will go ahead and show you what a, a sample group ride looks like. Um, so this is just a normal group ride of like 350 and four to 400 participants and I was getting around 45 FPS. So as you can see here, it's pretty smooth even for 
a group ride. I mean, it may not be 60 FPS like I wanted to, but it's definitely a lot more playable than before. So is it worth upgrading to a 6 1660 Ti? It all depends really. Um, like I said previously that you don't really need good graphics in Swift. It's supposed, it's one of those games where it runs on everything, you know, iPhones, Android phones, tablets, whatever. Just because you have better graphics does not guarantee you an advantage over somebody who's using, you know, hard, less hardware power than what you have. So, I mean, like I said, it's one of those things where it's just graphical. It's just how it looks on the screen. I mean, just what it comes down to. I mean, do you want the best looking experience to complement? Maybe you got like a Wahoo kicker or whatnot, you know? It, like I said, it's not worth it. If you're happy with your setup now, definitely keep doing what you're doing. But if you want to get the best experience in terms of graphics, then I highly recommend it. Um, if you want 4K60 stable, I mean stable 4K60, you definitely have to go something like an RTX 3060, 3060 Ti or above in order to achieve that. So um, I'll leave you with that. Go ahead and you know, let me know what you think and let me know what you're using for your Zwift setup. I'd be interested to see what you, what everybody's writing. Anyways, talk to you later. Bye bye.